And she's deserved every opportunity she's been given. She's deserved every marketing opportunity she's had presented to her. She's deserved every bit of the praise she's received. Now, that being said, doesn't mean that some of these women are wrong in their assessments that a lot of the fanfare around her is based around the fact that, like I said, she's a white straight woman. The big, biggest issue I have with all of this is this is it's, it's all treated like this is new. Like we continue to treat this Caitlin Clark stuff like basically throughout the season, Caitlin took a lot of very hard fouls. Um, she was treated. She was kind of beat up a little bit, especially during the beginning of the season when she was struggling, when she was having very rough shooting nights, when she was having very bad time offensively and turning the ball over a lot. Um, people were treating it like she was being specifically targeted. And in a way she was like she was, but at my point that I want to make here is that is very normal for sports. Like, I don't know why, like when you look at something, well, I do kind of know why, but when you look at a, a, a website like Barstool or a website, like these websites that were very critical of, of the way Clark was treated by the, the veterans of the WNBA and the way she was kind of getting these hard fouls and kind of being pushed around by these much older, more experienced veteran players. Uh, the way it was treated was like, this was this brand new thing that like, you know, Oh my God, we've never seen it. We've never seen this before. Like a rookie, you know, like they basically, they are like these women were doing like, you know, gang assaulting her on the fucking court when she was just taking some very hard fouls. And I, I'm not saying some of the hard fouls weren't egregious. And I'm not saying some of the hard fouls weren't, you know, kind of ridiculous examples of pretty blatant jealousy, but that's very normal. Like I do think, because that was the big thing, is that like, you know, people would say these women are doing this to Caitlyn because they're jealous of her, because they're jealous of her ability, because they're jealous of the opportunity she's getting. And uh, people who were on the other side, the anti-Clark, it's not even in quotation marks, the anti-Clark side, or people who were just trying to be objective about it, would say that like, no, no, no. It's not about that at all. It's not about jealousy at all. They're just tired of someone who is, you know, the quotes, especially during the beginning of the season, they're, they're tired of someone who doesn't have the same talent level as they do, receiving all these opportunities, receiving all these marketing ploys, and that basically, oh, the WNBA would have always been this popular if it had received the same marketing opportunities that it's getting now with Clark in the league. And I, I kind of want to dissect that point by point. Um, first off, the idea that uh, the WNBA would have always been this popular, it just needed the marketing, it just needed the support of uh, you know, ESPN and the sports leagues and all that stuff, that's horseshit, just kind of objectively. Now, the WNBA was gaining a lot of popularity slowly. Like Slowly, as the seasons went on, more and more people were coming to the games, more and more people were watching the games on television. That is true. Um, what is also true is when Caitlin came into the league, the popularity of the league exploded and the the notoriety and the publicity and the kind of putting themselves on the map type things that exploded. Uh-huh.